Hi guys, welcome back to LA Equestrian and today is a very exciting day. I have the jumps for the arena right behind me and I've had some Cavalettis I've been able to jump, but they're very small and I only have two of them and now I can set up a course which I'm very excited about. So let's go see what's inside. Okay, so these are the standards right here, and these are the poles. So I think first I'm going to open up the standards. I have to be careful because I don't want to accidentally cut the jumps. I cannot wait to see them. They're very protected and well packaged. Ooh, so exciting! Okay, so these are the green ones. what they look like so we did like a dark green pair and what I love so much about these jumps is that they're plastic so they're not like as heavy as wooden ones but they're still very sturdy so let's open up these I love the tops of these two. They're so cute. Here's this one. And here's the other side. I absolutely love the color of those. Those are so cute. And then we have some white ones. And this is what the white looks like. Okay, so this is what the white standards look like. They are actually really tall fences. They go up to like five foot four inches. Very nice. I love how the white looks. Guys, you should totally check out their website. Um, super, super quality jumps. They're great quality, they're super cute, and I love them. And so I really like them. Um, yeah, so let's unbox the whole thing. Also, something really cool is that you can customize on their website. So before we bought the jumps, we can customize them on their website to see what they would look like, which is super cool. So I don't know what color is inside this, so let's find out. It's a blue one, guys. on each jump so we could have combinations if you wanted to pop an x up if you wanted to do a horizontal with a slant stuff like that so let's get more pulls all right we have another box here let's see what's inside 
I'm hoping, I wonder if these are the pink ones. We got some pink ones, which I'm very excited to see. lapse of all me just cutting the boxes open because they're very well packaged oh my goodness i absolutely love the pink oh my goodness this might be my favorite one yet so pretty we did a pink and white combination which will go with our pink standards over there guys this might be the one i love these so much Okay, there's some more in here. I think these are the green ones. This one is so, so cute. As you can see, we were able to customize it with two different colors on the poles. So we did like a dark green on the ends with like a neon green in the middle and some white bands, which is super, super cute. And it's gonna pair great with the dark green standards. One more plain white one. I think this one is a plain white one. Let's see. Yes, it is. Okay, so this is what they all look like. I love the colors. Super cute. I love the green. I love the pink. They're all bright. Yeah, so this is what they look like. We still need to set up the course. We need to open the jump cups and the little stands they go on. So I think we need some tools for that. And they're super easy, supposedly, to put together. So I can't wait to try them. Okay, so I'm gonna open up these. I think these are the jump cups. And what's really cool about the jump cups that we ordered is that they're safety cups. So if your horse does knock a pole, oh, these, these are the stands. Anyway, back to the safety cups. Um, so if your horse knocks the floor or something, they just slide off, which I'll show you that later when I open those. But yeah, it's really, really cool and it's a really good safety feature. Okay, so wow, these were super easy to assemble. Um, I'm gonna show you guys one more and how you assemble them because they're super easy. So let's stand this one up. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I am going to put all of the others together. And yeah, then I'll show you guys what they look like and simple. Okay, so all you need is a wrench and a mallet. I'm using a hammer. It's probably a little safer for your jumps if you use a mallet. But yeah, so all we have to do is we have to unscrew. So you just have to unscrew this part. Super easy. I'm making it look difficult. I promise it's not. Okay, got that part unscrewed plate off and just be careful to not let this screw part go into the jump because it's really hard to get out if you accidentally tap it in so then you're just going to take one of the legs put it on upside down slide it on like that super easy so then just take another one One more.
Okay, so now all we have to do is put this little metal plate back on, just like that. Let me grab my wrench here, thank you. There we go. So guys, that took me about a couple minutes and we have a whole standard together. Super cute. So, go set them up.